Okay, it's Larry. I'm going to ask you a question that you probably haven't heard yet. Are you living on Fantasy Island? And I'm not talking about the one from the 1970s with Mr. Ork and Tattoo that we used to watch on Saturday nights right after Love Boat. This is going out to people mostly who are building home businesses, but it really could be for anyone. But if you got started in a home business, or really anything that's new for you, are you trying to live out a fantasy? And I know that sounds crazy, and I know it sounds like something that we should do, but the truth of it is if you're trying to live out a fantasy, it's not gonna work. And give me a minute and I'll explain why that's the case. Um, what's a fantasy? Start with that. Fantasy is something that's fun to dream about. That gazillion dollars, that, uh, that hot mansion on the, on the ocean, that hot sports car, you know, I'm talking about a, Rolls Royce or something, or, or something that looks great, that's fun to dream about, but realistically, you don't see yourself being part of. A lot of the marketing stuff, the materials that go along with home business, they have the fantasy. They say, man, look at this, you can get this. And people buy into it. Then it's time to start working, to do the things that make it happen. And you start out with whatever you start out with. You have to do this, that, and the other thing. And then a week into it, you're doing a little bit less. And then the next week, a little bit less until you stop working altogether. And you don't even know why. I'm going to tell you why right now. When you're building your business, each of us has what's called a narrative. And if you've seen any of my stuff before, you're familiar with that. Narrative is the story you tell yourself about yourself. And when you get close to that kind of success, because most of us don't have a narrative that says I'm going to be successful. It sounds like a great idea, but most of us have an expectation of what we're supposed to get. And truthfully, it doesn't include sports cars and it doesn't include mansions. It includes whatever it includes, and that's fine. But when you start getting close to that kind of success, you say, this ain't me. You shut down. That's what's going on for most people who are building their home businesses. How do you get past that? How do you build the kind of business that you have a fantasy about? Well, there's two choices. Number one, scale it back so that you're not going for the million, gazillion, bazillion dollars. You're going for the $200 a month that you want or the $500 a month that you want, and your activity matches that. And you say, no, I'm not gonna get the big thing, but I'm gonna get what I need to pay off a bill, to pay off my mortgage, to make like a life a little bit easier for myself. That's great. Or the second thing, and this is what I really recommend, start changing your narrative. Start changing the story you tell yourself about yourself or do what Steve McConnell says. Turn your narrative into your legend, the bigger version of yourself. Now all of a sudden your story's different. And when you stop doing the things, you say, wait a second, the things that I want, my narrative, the way I see myself, it's not a match. I want this, but I'm doing this but I deserve this because this is the story I'm telling myself about myself now. Kind of automatically, what you're doing comes up here. And what's even cooler, kind of automatically, the way people around you respond comes up here. And all of a sudden, your results come up here. It won't happen when the story you tell yourself about yourself is small, when what you want is fantasy. It does happen when your narrative changes to go along with your activity. Your activity increases to go along with your narrative. Try it, see what happens.